Hello friends, it's Yuris here. I'm sitting here alone. I have these empty spots here, so I need some guests. Oh, guests? Cool! Today's Shop Talks episode about guest spots and traveling the world with the profession of tattooing. Here we go! Bom vidu au tattoo shop talk. Webshow semano sobri u ke kuntesi dentro yauhedor. Gi uma loja a tatuaji istamos trazendo pra você via internet. Bang. Bang. Today we have two wonderful guests from Europe, the, the far corner of Europe, Janis, and dude from the across the Pond from far away place Brazil. Long that, way. That's somewhere in Spain or something. Like that. Yeah, close. Yeah. And today we will talk about guest spots and how free is the profession of tattoos and <clears> what <throat> you can benefit from traveling around and what it's like in general. So 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 let's start with just Me? This, this gentleman. Okay. You do you do travels from place far away, so, so how it works for you? How do you how do you do your guest spots and what's your workflow yeah yeah sometimes people think uh, is we have the rock star lifestyle you know but it's not like this sometimes you have some spots to sleep sometimes no <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you have a good couch sometimes you have the ground and sometimes that's you it. have work sometimes not <laughs> yeah uh, it's, it's a little bit weird because sometimes you you go to a shop and waiting for something nothing happened and sometimes you just go and you have a lot of work you never know so how do you how do you find places and how do you choose places where to go and what's your what's, uh, what's your criteria for the i don't have it <laughs> normally i have some friends and talk to me about shops and uh, i just try i roll the dice and that's it yeah considering because you're coming from not the country next door so you do a tour you don't go just to one place for a guest spot that's, that's yeah because uh to fly to brazil to europe is a little bit expensive mm -hmm. and so i need to stay here a, a little bit more to pay for the flight and make some money oh you need money yeah okay. or i can eat bananas in brazil <laughs> And you, my na next door neighbor? Nah, I, I like my my portfolio of the two travels is way way smaller than Carlos's. I mean, like there's only two spots where I've been guest spotting. I think two. Yeah, I think two. So I mean, like, but I've been I've been coming to those two places for quite a while now. Like I've been returning to those places. For example, in Denmark, I've been coming like every every four or five months for the last I don't know eight years or something. So it's basically almost like a second home to me. And Germany is almost like five years. So I mean, in my case, it's not like rolling the dice. I'm just coming back to. You know where you're going. You know where I'm going. I know what to expect. You know, as Carlos said, sometimes it's better, sometimes not, but still i have like uh, you know a plan or, a, or what to expect you know so i would love to travel way more but in my case you know like my schedule back at home is like super hectic and there's like millions of things to do so how is that thing with leaving stuff behind because you had a shop in brazil you have shop in latvia so like people have families friends because how it is to leave that stuff is it not very yeah, that, stressful and stuff like that that's one of the reasons why i don't don't do guest spots as much you know because uh, as a co-owner of a shop i think it's not like probably too cool for me to be away a lot of the times just to show the respect to the guys you know and all of that it's not that like me being there changes like like something like really really big or whatever you know but it's um i mean i i just want to i just want to be there with all the guys you know so that's one of the reasons the other reason of the of course you know like the the main reason is the family and uh friends and wife and uh and the music thing as well so i mean if i wouldn't have like anything back there you know i would probably travel way 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 more because like the tattooing gives you the opportunity to do that which is one of the best things in tattooing i guess can't complain about stuff like that mm -hmm. and you like for example you go for for how long you go and uh, how do you manage things back home and stuff yeah this time i go to stay in the <laughs> europe like three months but it's really difficult for me because I have a daughter and five years old in Brazil and I need to talk in the WhatsApp and stuff. So, but another way for me it, here is a 
the the money here is more strong than in Brazil, you know, because I can make much money here than there. Mm. But yeah, it's it's, it's difficult because you're it's so far from home. You don't know about some language. You know, don't know about foods. What? Uh, sometimes I go to the supermarket and I can read what I'm <laughs> buying. You know, <laughs> it's difficult. But I think it's a, it's, a, it's nice to grow in the life. You know, you can uh, study about another kind of cultures and stuff. I yeah. think it's cool. So it's not only work and money, but you can you can travel the world and see places. Yeah, of course. And. Uh, one, one actually one of the things why I also like uh, I, I always am a bit stressful about guest spotting one of the reasons is because like if as i said like if i when if i would go to a place where i haven't been before i would stress a lot about you know how things happen in the shop you know like what's the sanitation things you know and like all that stuff you know but if you have like experience with more and more shops, probably you don't think about it as much. But yep. at this point, when I've been just in two places where I completely used to those places, I'm like stressing. I would stress out about all that, you know. So. You probably learn how to work your ways around things. Yeah, because as I said, you know, I come here, I know where everything is. I know how people react and how people do things. So it's yep. easy, you know. Myself, I haven't guest spot. I've just worked in a lot of sp uh, places, but I had guests coming to the shops yeah. where I work. And uh, first of all, as in a shop, you see all those people and you share like how things are done so you can learn stuff. And also I heard from, from guests that they say, say like you get used to all the light tables and comfort yeah. and something. And then you go to some place where they're like, no, we don't have it. Like if you want, you get some. Yeah, then yeah. you suddenly remember that there was old school ways of tracing on the windows but like in how many shops have you been around uh like in europe like 10 or 11 shops yeah and um it's crazy my first time here in europe i work in ireland yeah and um i never saw the stencil machine ah uh -huh. And for me, it's what the fuck is this? Is fucking awesome! And next year, I save money to buy one. You know, this is a kind of thing happen. Is 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 it's funny, you know? But what the fuck? What is working? Yeah. And the guys help me to use and. Yeah. But when you learn it, you can't live without it. Oh, okay. Or yeah. <laughs> well, like you said when you updated to iPad and then you waited how much art stuff you were carrying with you and it's like yeah, 8 yeah. kilos this time I, I I don't need to bring like 8 kilos of paper yeah. you know it's much yeah this is also one of those things in tattooing that many tattooists say it's one of the the most free professions so you can travel the world you can go across the yeah, shops yeah I mean, and I mean there are tours who travel like for years like this. They don't have even like apartment back at home, you know. Yeah, they, those homeless. Yeah, are I gypsies. mean, like they have an apartment, for example, like in Denmark or whatever. They decide, okay, I'll go on a on a tattoo trip. They sell some of the stuff in apartment. They get out of apartment because it makes no sense for them like to to, to pay the rent while they're traveling. So they basically just like give up the apartment then travel for two years and you know they basically like homeless actually yeah, in a way you know i but know something like that and then there's also it's not really my vibe it's it's all it's, it's too hippie and I'm, I'm i'm too not hippie but there's those like you know people traveling with those camper vans and yeah, then yeah. guest spotting and doing that kind of stuff which is yeah, pretty but exotic. when you travel tattooing man it's, it's it's like a drug you know you want more and more and more because now I'm in, in Denmark. When I come back to Brazil, probably I go to Chile, yeah. you know, to work. And I have plans to go to America. Man, our our kind of work give yeah. us free to to. Yeah, I don't know any like I don't know many professions who has like the possibilities to travel as much as the tourists do. Well, apart there if are you some... do some internet stuff where it doesn't matter where yeah, you're located. Yeah, yeah. Also stuff. that, but I mean, you have to be probably a top-notch guy in some of the professions to do that you know but even if you're like a mediocre tattooer you don't even have to be like really good to tour you still can fucking travel all around yeah, the world there's you know? so yeah. many shops that have no workers so they'll also take taking people and like you'll be busy and maybe it will not be amazing stuff you're doing but 
it yeah, will cover your costs big yeah, time. Yeah, because also from the side of a like shop owner, you mean, I mean, you are interested in having a good tour in your shop, you know, if you have a space available, of course, so you know. And if you care. And if you care, yeah. yeah. Of uh, course, you know, like uh, in our shop, we've had like some guest artists and all that, but like one of the aspects we also look is like, we don't want to have like a super good tour who's an asshole. You know, yeah, of course. I mean, like, we yeah. better have a guy who's like mediocre to tour, but he seems like a fucking nice bit person. You know? And the art is so subjective, you yeah. know. Uh, what is beautiful for me can be beautiful yeah. for you, and that's it. Yeah. We also talk that it's a profession where you learn a lot on your own, and then many people are like, "Oh no, you can't do this because this is correct way, and like <laughs> it's correct way for that guy." But I, I heard. <laughs> I heard some dramatic stories where they're like, okay, it's a good artist, but we don't want to see that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Have you had any, like, uh, okay, you go to two places, yeah. so I think you all, you're all good, you know what's happening. Yeah, there's no, like, any Have you surprise. had some, like, bad experiences, some upsetting surprises and stuff like yeah. that? Yeah, uh, unfortunately, I have once in Portugal, in a place, the owner of the tattoo shop is a completely asshole, you know? And uh, treat me like a third world guy, yeah. you know. If you are from the Brazil, you you need food. You need to work for me like a slave, you know. And nothing happened. And, and the second day, I take my things and yeah. get out of the shop. Yeah. I heard the guy said he was in some place where basically he was invited and all good. And he was like kind of expecting a lot of work. And then I think he like had some... He said something or didn't like the desk person went all like on him and yeah. he said like people are coming in but they getting booked for all the other people and then he's like uh he's like talks is like oh it's your customer he's like no no this is just a walk-in so he's like why are you like why are you Invited. take me why are you inviting me here and then you obviously are just not giving me work mm. and there was like this kind of attitude like i don't care like, you, you don't want it you leave the guy said he's like he left and but when he left he's like where's the bus stop and that was like not my problem you know oh, shit. that kind of shit and it's... yeah i mean probably probably it's it would be good you know to talk over some things with the guys where you're visiting you know like what 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 to expect and all that stuff of course you're not gonna always you know uh get what you expected and get get deals you wanted but there's also an interesting thing now that like um there's a website now which is basically called like an Airbnb for the tours. Okay. Which is actually pretty pretty interesting thing. And uh, what got my interest into all of that is because like really good the two shops are in there. Like like Norm from LA, you know, he has his yeah, shop yeah. in that. It's basically a, a website called That Space or something like that. Where you basically, you type in the place where you want to go. They show some shops and they show the deals like what's like. How much you have to pay or what's the percentage so you basically you just you just set the dates and you see what dates are available and you write them you get the confirmation and that's it you know you basically you booked for that time in that tattoo shop you know so, right. if it works cool. if yeah it's, it's really cool because like i i've checked it and <coughs> like for example some shops they have like all the list of things they have all the pictures of all the place like the workstation and everything you know so i mean like of course like a contact person to person is always going to be the primary you know con contact uh, type you know but uh it's a pretty useful thing yeah and like if there would be only like shitty tattoo shops i mean that's another thing but when you see like really really high level to two shops involved and it's like okay this seems legit you know there's, can trust. there's yeah. also all these forums and stuff the way i look at it it's there's some shops which are all the time looking for something yeah and like but it's it's also the way it's written and all that and you check their pages and you know that it's not the top-notch shop so so then it's kind of suspicious that you see the same shop they like Looking for piercer again, kind of yeah. thing. Looking for tattooist, and then it's like, well, maybe what, there's something wrong. But what, what I wanted to ask you, Carlos, like for example, you probably you've been to like many many tattoo shops, and like you've you've probably been to a shop where there's like a a number of super good tattoo artists. 
Like what? What's what's the feeling when you go to a shop where it's like a high level tattoo shop? Um, always when I I I go to some new shop, I'm be nervous. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Cause man, it's different people. Yeah. Looking for your work, and uh, when have guys really really good, you, you be intimidated a little yeah. bit. But man, it's it's better for you, cause you need to show your best. Yeah. You definitely. know, in this man, you go and start to be excited and try yeah. new things and see the people doing new things you know this is so oh, cool yeah. to learn yeah probably the first moment was like fuck you know but yeah 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 that, you know in the very first is a little bit yeah. scary but second day is cool i heard from some people doing all the like realistic and that kind of stuff that they also like that's the big shop in Switzerland or something. So yeah. they like they go there and it's really cool and then they kind of stop going there for whatever reasons. But uh, they they say like even to other people from their shop that it's it's so big shop with so many artists that you should go there like at some point of your career just to see how like those people work. Cause just yeah, because sometimes for uh, for your own good. It's not a good place to be when you're like when you're in some tattoo shop where you're completely the best tattoo artist, you know, because when you're at the top, it's probably way less chance to learn something at that point, you know. If you get to go to yeah, But I mean to, that's the that, magic that, happens outside comfort yeah, zone. Yeah, and that that that's the thing. Yeah, that's the same in music, that's the same in sports, you know, when you whatever whatever sport you do or whatever you play against a better team, you learn way more. You know, it's kind of... But it's nice. Uh, when I travel, always, when I go somewhere, I learn one little thing yeah. and go change my work completely. Yeah. You know, it's That's not the, so my good. style, but I can put some things in my work. Is Man, it's changed completely. Yeah, it's e even weird, like in, in our shop in Riga, like, like we're seven tours and you can, from time to time, you learn from all the other guys, you know, it's like, wow, it's so good. Or even the technical stuff, you have a chance to touch a different machine yeah, to absolutely. see how they work, to see how they... Ask a legit opinion from someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's not like review from website. The best machine! Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. You're just like... That's real. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool sharing experience. Yeah, maybe a little tip here to audience. If you are a tattooist and looking for guest spots, it's good to talk out a lot of details because... I've heard a lot of disappointments are where it's lost while well, you're like, yeah, yeah, he said come. And then I was like, yeah, yeah, it's going to be fine. And they're like, yeah, yeah, it's going to be this. And everyone's expectations and reality doesn't yeah, yeah. mean the same thing. So this match. Yeah, some things. We had also questions about like uh, how people get paid and all that. But that's like, I, I think it's super individual Subjective, there's yeah, different yeah. shops different artists what they do also what shop gives you because i heard there's places where you go with all your stuff like with mm. everything yours and then there's what shops provide and all that kind of stuff or if you're somebody who have a lot of customers in that area who just needs a, a chair yeah then it's a different story yeah i've worked in some places and always is the normal is 50 50 and i work by like 7 30 and uh, one shop in finland that i work for 80 20 super cool guys and super good deal mm -hmm. you know but i think uh, the tattooer never can make less money than the shop you know i i heard about shops pay 40 for the the, the, the artist i think you are the yeah, the, 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 the superstar of the shop, you know. I heard you even, you make the money. The I real heard money. even thirty, and then like, but it was from the guy who was looking for a shop, and he's like, I was in that country, and he's like, oh, like I found the shop, and they give me like thirty percent, and I was like, okay, but then Didn't maybe you? if they like, you know, paying for your dinner. Well, and, you basically uh, you go just like completely fucking empty. Yeah, with you no go, machine, no nothing, yeah. no food, and no, they give nothing. you a place where to stay and feed you. Then, yeah, then yeah. maybe like if you're decent tattooist, if you, I don't know, I can't imagine the reason why you would go to other country and work yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of bad experiences, I think I only heard like where. It's just that miscommunications and people were like expecting way more work or some stuff like that. But that's where you lovely people can share some rumors and horror stories about nightmares of tattooing. Well, in, in our shop, we've had 
We had sev we've had several guest artists. At this point, we're not like really interested in having like a, a guest artists because basically uh, we're completely full. There's no space. Of course, you know if there's if there's a person who's like a good friend of us and that we enjoy having around, you know, we're going to make exception and we're always going to find a place or something like that, but, you know, but uh, we've had several tattoo artists from different places, like uh, from Netherlands, from Australia, from the Canada, you know, different places. Russian guys. The Russian guys, yeah. And the thing, the main thing that we always talk over with the guys coming, well, it's not a secret, you know, that like tattooing in Latvia costs probably less than most of the Europe, you know. So basically, the first thing that we say to all the tours that you can come, uh, like, to our shop if you're actually mostly interested in, like, seeing the place, visiting the city, you know, spending some fun time around, you know, because the financial aspect is not that cool, you know, yeah, coming yeah. as a guest artist to Riga, you know. You can fly hour more into yeah, yeah, Central yeah, Europe. Yeah, because and... I, I think basically if you're a tour from, I don't know what, like for example Australia, the amount you get paid for tattoos in Latte is probably what you get in tips in Australia, you know, so. Probably. Yeah, yeah but the thing is, it's of course, you, yeah, but the thing is that you basically, you don't spend as much, you know, in, in, uh, in Riga. Okay, Riga is pretty expensive now, but, but yeah, the, what, what I'm saying is that like, that's the thing we talk over with the people coming to the shop so yeah, that they're yeah, the yeah so that they know what to expect financially you know because there's different aspects why people go guest spotting you know one aspect is financial aspect one aspect is like tourism ideal variation is probably when you mix both of those things you know yeah. seeing a cool place and getting uh, financial. i also had some like friends tattooists who like oh like maybe i can go to work in your place and they they work in some busy shops and i'm like what do you expect they're like you know this this that mostly full day sessions and yeah. all that and we're like you know we have our people doing that stuff and we don't have a spare sessions to throw yeah. so i was like you know it's 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 cool you're welcome but there's no way i can promise you anything close to that yeah. and um yeah that's where all those like upset stories come from where people say like yeah there's work but maybe there's some work not like there's like oh you'll be flat booked or maybe there's places where people expect to do only what they do like their yeah. own style or something and it's more maybe walking shop and they're like oh that stuff yeah all, all of that stuff changes when you're probably when you're a popular tattooer you know it's probably way different the people looking for your yeah working. exactly you know so shops are calling you and all that you know so but also i heard there's that like popular and very popular there's a big difference because i heard from many guys because they like post works and they have those tens of thousands of followers on instagram and people are commenting and they're like when you coming to our city and all that and once you're there you're like i'm in that city and it's like crickets it's like no one no one is like uh, like oh yeah i, I like yeah, your work I but I'm not in that position, so I yeah, don't know. Yeah, it's not like I, I talked with one dude who's like, his stuff is good, and he, he said, and he also talked with other people that they had those situations where people are like, like yeah, yeah, come to my city, and when they go there, it's it's nothing. So it's that maybe you can feel popular for yourself on the numbers on your social media and the the comments and all but that. For real. But for real, when you go there, there's a like maybe one of uh, those hundred who said like oh they'll mm. be like oh okay i'll go there and then you're like you plan your two weeks in that city and you have that you can go to the shop like yeah yeah give me 90 percent i have all these people and then you go there and there's Not one happened. and you're like oh in conclusion tattooing is awesome profession wow Guess? sometimes sometimes <laughs> Guess? not a rock star life not the rock yeah. star life unless you're a rock star but it's it's a good thing that you can travel with the thing and absorb cultures of the planet and all that stuff and also for those who's learning obviously if you are in the very beginning it's maybe not the best idea to mm. to go traveling but when you when you're the best in, in in your area it's a good idea to step out of there travel and that's how you can learn and grow more right yeah. of course. and if there's probably a chance to 
visit a shop with really good artists you look up to. It's a good and learning. Yeah, also like the, with some guys, I've seen that now they're working, like when I met those guys, they were the uh, idols and now they're guesting their shops because they, yeah. they just got that good and they got those connections and they, they have a chance to work in the shop where you were a big fan of the people mm -hmm. like, like when you started. So if you have a chance, do that. And when you do it, make sure you talk all the stuff out so there's no confusions and things misunderstood. Don't be an asshole. And don't be an asshole yourself. That's always a pro tip. Yeah. And yeah, if you're wondering how to find those places, best is to know people. And then all the that web thing you said, and there's forums and Facebook pages yeah, but and whatnot. I, I haven't tried it. I just seen it and it seemed interesting, you know. So. Yeah, but there are many options. But best and the safest way is probably knowing people because yeah. then you can avoid some bullshit and have some like uh, some true experiences and no false promises and stuff. And now people tell some horror stories so it's fun in the comment section and, and, and people can read some stuff and, and be entertained. Or maybe if you have some good tips. And as always, press the like button, subscribe button. And if you want to be updated when new episodes come out, there's a little bell next to subscribe button. You can also, in the links, check interview with this gentleman and talk with this gentleman that turned out into some one and a half hour conversation. See you in the future. Bye bye, everybody. See you. Keep on learning. Never stop learning. Hola. It was, it was nice. I need to touch up my makeup. Yeah. <laughs>